is the WWE worried about AEW? Is AEW really making Vince McMahon and the powers that be a little a little shuffle, a little ruffle, maybe a little sadness, maybe a little worriness, um competitive spirit from AEW. Remember to share, subscribe, smash the bell, and refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day, every single day, because I work around the clock, the brash in the brazen, and I quite frankly will never ever stop. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE is reaching out to some surprising names that you wouldn't necessarily think that would want to be in the WWE, but the WWE is reaching out to names just to keep them from AEW. The next few months should be very interesting when All Elite Wrestling's TV show starts on TNT in October. As previously noted, it looks like NXT on Fox Sports 1 is happening, and it will be counter-programming against AEW from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern. Another thing that the WWE is doing is they are reaching out to wrestlers that might get signed by AEW. Now, Dave Meltzer is reporting out of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that the WWE has opened up talks about bringing people in that they've never had an interview or never had interest in. The obvious reasons for this is because they want to keep these wrestlers away and from signing with the competition, I, you know, I, AEW. One surprising name that the WWE spoke with a few months ago was Joey Ryan. Apparently... It wasn't a good enough deal because Ryan turned it down. He's one of those guys that wouldn't have been considered for a job in WWE a year ago. One surprising name. Uh, that's surprising. That's a little bit of an understatement. Another surprising name that WWE spoke with. And one of the hottest acts available right now are LAX with Conan. LAX with Conan. They've had talks with AEW and WWE. And I reportedly lean towards signing with AEW is Conan and LAX. But if they end up in WWE, it would be interesting to see Conan there since he is someone who's had, and someone who WWE has not had an interest in for political reasons. So, ladies and gentlemen, the WWE is going to go to far lengths. The WWE is going to go far levels. The WWE is going to have to do everything in their power to maintain their credibility, um, their actual, their ability to, you know, form storylines and angles and keep fans invested, you know, sign new stars, you know, you know, push new stars, develop new stars, you know, this doing this doing this distinguish, this distinguish. wow, this heat's getting to me, guys, this heat is getting to me, I'm not even drunk, I'm not high, uh, it's a lullaby, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go have a sleep right now after that, distinguish, that, hey, wow, that, that took a little bit to get out there, but no, ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, that will be on the latest episode of Botches and Bloopers, that was terrible, that was a failure, but Sean Viewtain will always be here, because I'm the brash and the brazen.